and today I'm going to talk to you about how to share your Canva designs. Okay, so you're probably saying, well, can I just download them? And yes, you can. Downloading them is one way to share designs. But when you're working on a team, sometimes you don't want to have to download, take someone, send it to someone to view it, and then re-edit it and all that kind of stuff, right? It just takes up a lot of time, a lot of space on your hard drive, and it's just more things to get in the way, right? So I always suggest to people not to share your designs until you're ready. Well, not to download your designs until you're ready. But you can also share them without them being in the ready state. So there are two ways you can share your designs. The first way is that you can share your designs via email, right? And I'm going to show you that. So you can share your designs via email, meaning you can type in someone's email address. And this is only if people have accounts with Canva. Okay, so if you want them to be able to see it via email, meaning that Canva sends them an email, letting them know that you're sharing a design with them, then you can do it this way. You just go to the share button. And in this section right here, you're going to type in their email addresses. And if there are several people that you need to share with, you just write all of their email accounts here, separating them by commas, okay? And once everything processes, Canva is going to share it with them. But you want to be careful of two things. You, if, when you send the email, you want to make sure that you give them the, the correct rights of what you want them to do. If you only want them to view it and then provide feedback via email, then just make sure you have the view link there, right? Can view. Then if you want them to be able to edit it, then you need to click here and change to can edit. Now this portion reminds me of the Google Drive. Whenever you're collaborating in there, you know, you have to share to give people, you know, um, different rights. So this is kind of what that is, right? A limited version of that, but it's kind of what that is. Then the second way you can send it, you can still send it via email. But you can send it via your email, and what you do is you send a link. And so you just go to the bottom, well, back it up a little bit. If, when you get ready to send the emails, right here in this portion, you have to click on send in inbox. And then Canva's gonna process it and send it, all right? Now, if you want to be able to share a link, then you need to click on this one where it says share a link to edit, and then you copy the link. And if you want to change it to view, click share link to view and then copy the link. And then you see there's a third option which has the little crown there letting you know that this is a Canva Pro feature. You can also share the link to use as a template. So possibly this would be something that you probably have already completed or is just something you set up for a client or something and you want them to use it as a template, okay? So this is a very good way to do that. That way they get it it makes a copy for them in their account and you get to keep yours without them bothering your original design so that is very simple in how to use the share feature in canva i hope this was very helpful to you and i hope you're able to utilize this in your business all right thank you for joining me